Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, look here, look here. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Bear Reviews today. Dogfish head with a nuclear colored cap on top of it. That means it's a big beer, and that means it's a pricey beer usually. Like the Dogfish 120. Whenever they put this neon yellow greenish cap on it with the, the triangle on it with the question mark or the, the dogfish head thing on the top of it, that usually means it's a high alcohol beer and a pricey beer on top of that. This was sent to me by Brandon, my good friend down in Texas, my good good friend down in Texas, Brandon C. Uh, and I've had this one for a while, guys. 15% uh, big beer. This beer is going to sell it for a long, long, long time. And I've sold it for a while. Uh, but I went ahead and it's been in the fridge for a while. Uh, hopefully it won't be gushing out or anything crazy or stupid like that. But uh, I went ahead and I said, well, let's go ahead and get this one out. This is a 15 percenter. This is a huge, this is a Godzilla of a beer. 15 percent barley wine, guys. And it's not aged in any kind of specialty barrels, as far as I know. It's just a great, big, huge barley wine. So, and I thought I had reviewed this many moons ago, but I could not find it. It, it, may, be, it may be there. So, if I've done it before, this is a re-review. If I haven't, it's a lot. <laughs> That's how that goes. So uh, I've done so many now, uh, I can't remember, and I have to even go in and look and type it in on YouTube and see if it pops up. But uh, I couldn't find it, so maybe I haven't. Uh, and being a nuclear cap top version, like their Dogfish 120 and several other beers they do, it's got this bright colored cap on it. Uh, big boy beer, guys. I mean, drink this one at home, 15%. Huge beer, huge beer. You would not want to drink this beer, even just one, and try to drive from a bar or a brew pub or something like that. You're taking your damn chances, trust me. One of these will get you a DUI. It will in this state anyway. So, just be careful, guys. Be safe out there. Drink them at home like I do. Yeah. All right, let's get on with this. Commercial description on this one, guys, says, Inspired by a tale of Cass Doctor who brought sluggish ales back to life by suspending a fig in them. Brewed from 100% Maris Otter Pale Ale Malt, a blend of fine hops and conditioned on dates and figs. Should have a lot of dark fruit in there then. Use your instructions, open bottle, pour contents into two snifters. Enjoy. Alternatively, walk hand and neck with bottle into the middle of the woods. Use a shovel to dig a two by two hole three feet deep, seal bottle in plastic bag, place in hole, pack with dirt, memorize location and leave, return exactly one year later, dig up bottle, open and enjoy. So they're telling you to bury this thing for at least a year. Uh, and I thought Dogfish had dated their stuff, but I don't see anything on the label here, so this beer ages with the best of them. And and the directions tell you the same thing I just read about digging a hole and burying it. So, I don't see anything standing out on as far as date on the bottle. Uh, I would think this was a 2016 edition. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the bottle when I come back see if we can find any kind of date code on it anywhere. But anyway, I wanted to get to it since Brandon sent it to me. Uh, and I probably kept it longer than he'd like for me to, and I apologize for that, Brandon. Uh, but 15% beer, and they want you to at least sell it for a year before you open it and drink it. Hopefully we're close to that. So let's see, 15%, this is going to, this is, this may hurt. <laughs> this may hurt. This may make my head spin around a little bit by the time I'm done with it. So, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's open up this nuclear package and see what we got. And let me make sure this thing don't go everywhere. 
No. No. It's not good for me. Alright guys. Big bangs, cheeses. Says sharp blue cheddar, stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, lumberger. Let's go down the center. Says general digestive dessert. Uh, you're going to need a strong dish to pair with this. Being 15%. Last ride of Pine Becker and I, Tumblr Snifter. I got my favorite Snifter. And Seth can be sold for a long, long time, guys. And I don't doubt that a bit. This beer will keep 5, 10, 15, even 20 years. It'll sell. Big, big beer. It's kind of cloudy and murky. Kind of brownish color. A little bit of light through the thin part of the glass here. Looks like a big, bold barley wine. Let's get a nose to it. Slight hint of some alcohol. 15% is hard to hide that. Toffee, caramel, brown sugar. Hints of some dark fruit in there, guys. Nice sweetness to the back end, uh, like a barley wine typically has. A lot of malt, a lot of hops to produce this beer. And like I said, 15%. Oh, wow. This is probably a $10 to $15 bottle of beer, 12 ounces. It smells wonderful, though, guys. And I've actually been to the brewery up there at Dogfish uh, a couple years ago. And, uh, and they were in the process of doing some expansion there. I did the tour and everything. Uh, Sam wasn't there at the time, but uh, enjoyed it. They have a, they had a nice facility there, and I got a feeling it's it's even bigger now since they've expanded. So smells wonderful. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. Definitely some hint of some booziness in there, guys. 15%. Makes little boys cry and big boys fit their face down in the dirt. Ooh, yeah. Wonderful aroma. Very tasty beer. If you're not used to drinking a 15% beer, no matter what style it is, whether it's an Imperial, a Triple, or whatever the case may be, this will kick your ass. He might as well kick this fat boy's ass too. 15%. There is some strong hints of some of the alcohol in there, guys. It's not burning or anything. But you can tell by the smell and the taste you're drinking a big beer. Almost to the point, even though I've drank a ton of different beers, guys, and a ton of different craft beers over the last six years. This is a heavy beer. This is almost to the point where it's a hair too boozy for even me. And I've had some bigger ones than this. Avery makes a bunch of beers that are heavier than a 15 percenter. But those are usually the beers you want to share. Like I said, pour into two snippers to share. And I'm going to take this out here and let her have all she wants of it. Uh, this is not something you want to suck down, chug down at 15%. Uh, this is three beers in a bottle. This is three beers in one bottle. So treat it accordingly. Drink it at home. That's all I can say, guys. Well, let's let it come up to room temperature and sip on it for a little bit. It might go up. And, uh, matter of fact, I ain't a mite. I'm going to go out on the deck and fire up a cigar and sip on this for a little bit. And we'll come back and I'll see if I can find any kind of vintage or date on it. And let her taste it, and we'll figure out where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. My sip on about 30 minutes went very well with the cigar that I was smoking. Uh, I looked at the bottle when I got back. There's no vintage on it. Dogfish head is big enough to do that, guys. I don't know why they do not. Uh, yeah, I do. I'll tell you straight up why they do. They want it to sit on the shelf as long as possible. They want to sell as many of them as they can. And with this particular beer, they can do that. Because this beer is going to keep for a long, 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 long time. But what if you want to do the 2015 and the 2017 edition, do a vertical? Without a date on it, how do you know how long it's been sitting on the shelf when you picked it up? So, Dogfish Head, you need to put a vintage on it. Uh, this is the 2013 edition. This is the 2017 edition. Whatever. We need more information, even though it's not going to go bad, guys. What if you want to do a vertical? So, they don't have any information on the label or on the bottle when this was put in there. Not that it's going to go bad, but what if you want to do two side-by-sides from different years? 
All the way you can do that is pick up this one and put on the date when you bought it and then wait a couple of years and pick up another one. How you know something? you're picking up the same one that you did then and then shut out on the shelf that long. So, Dogfish Head is big enough to do that, guys, uh, and they choose not to. So, I choose not to give them the grade that they probably would deserve if they had done that. So, I don't shut them. Huge barley wine, guys. For 15%, there is some booziness there, but it is a very well-made beer, guys. It is kind of easy drinking for 15%, relatively speaking. You know you're drinking a great big beer, but it is a very well-made beer on top of that. So, uh, I wouldn't want to, I mean, don't bury it in the yard. Write the date on it and put it in the fridge or the closet somewhere, and then you pick up another one later on, but you still don't know. If you're picking up the second, that it hadn't been on that shelf that long. Because this beer will keep forever, never, never, never. Especially since it don't have a date or a vintage on it. So, to me guys, this is a 9 beer and an 8 bottle. That's what I put it. I do think it's an 8 beer. And if they had a vintage on it, I would give them the 9. But they do not. So, they get the 8. Uh, numeric rating on this guys would probably be a 92. That's where I'm going to put it. Let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 88. I'm giving it a better score than those guys. So, uh, giving them the benefit of the doubt because it is such a well-made beer. Even though it is a huge monster beer. Uh, they're big enough to do some dating, guys, and they choose not to. Uh, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 97 overall, 92 in the style. Uh, I may go there if it had a vintage on it, and it does not. All right. Final check-in, guys, we're going to run over to Untap. They have it at 4.01, which is their A-minus scale also. And that's where I'm putting it. So, if you've had this one from Dogfish Head, this is their old-school barley wine. Let me know what you think. Come back tomorrow. Let's take something out of that fridge. See everybody then.